Hey guys, this is Ian Green here. Here's a rundown of our tour in Denmark 2013. Hope you enjoy. What happened on, on our wonderful Denmark tour last year in September? We had an amazing time. Uh, we went to four cities. We went to Hillerod, Herlev, um, Aalborg and Lurgenkloster. Feeling fantastic, really excited. Sweet. We're here, the whole team, we just checked in. So we're going to go to the departures now and uh, hopefully catch a little bit of breakfast, you know, before we hit the old plane line. You know? Sweet as, sweet as. But it's all good, we're going to keep you posted and uh, yes, e the tour has begun. <laughs> Mr. T Taylor Phelps, the main man on guitar. We have Mark Berg on keyboards, John Jackson on drums, Clint Williams on bass, and then we had our wonderful singers Yasmin Green, Naomi Siddiq, Love Nelson, and Chanel Hardy, and myself and my beautiful wife Dolores. <laughs> we stopped off at Hillerod, and that was our first port of call. Um, we were there for, I think we were there for two days actually, and it was like a school. Um, so we, it was um, probably about 400 youth that turned up to that, and um, yeah, it was it was it was it, it was great. I mean, they were so excited. This was our pizza. Not, not. We didn't get any pizza. No. Our second concert was in, in was in Herlev, which was about. Is it about two hours, an hour and something away from Hillerod, I think it was. Anyway, we went there and that was like a small church. It was quite a contrast from the night before. It was really, probably only really about 80 people there actually. The Bible declares that unless God builds a house, a man builds his house in vain. But I want to tell you, if you're letting God build your house, you are moving up. Oh yeah. If you're living for Jesus, you know you're winning Everything that you touch, you know it's gleaning Everywhere you go, the light of God will show Make them talk about it all over the radio
Okay guys, yeah, well we are about to leave um, Hillerod right now and we are off to Aalborg. So we're going to have about a four hour drive and then we're going to catch a bit. What a face, cause I'm saved by your grace. No, I won't be afraid. Ferry. 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 We're on the ferry. I will break. The next concert was Allberg and Allberg for me was definitely the highlight of the tour. Yeah. got to this Allberg and uh, it was just a different atmosphere they were just it was definitely more of a mixed crowd we had the youth but then we had um, quite a lot of adults as well so it was a nice mix nice blend it was six churches that all got together um, with the local pastors to kind of do like an outreach sort of thing and uh, it was just such a wonderful wonderful place wonderful environment but what was exciting about that was was just spiritually because i felt it was even from the first time i actually spoke to their pastor pastor paul something special was going to happen that night and i remember even just in prayer previous to the tour like the holy spirit really came on me strong and and it was like i knew that god was really in control on this whole tour <laughs> We had an amazing testimony of someone actually being physically healed by God from two years of chronic back pain. He had two um, crushed discs in his back, and um, God actually he, he actually received his healing while we were praying and um, while we were playing as well. God, he just knows. He he likes to surprise us. Do you know what I mean? I think we don't put God in a box and expect God to do anything other than just. We want him to show up because we're praising him and anything can happen when he shows up, anything. And uh, at the end, I think there's a clip where, where they were singing to us when we were finished and it's just, he, their, their song was, he who jumps for Jesus loves Jesus. Early in the morning, and today we're going to Leo Costa for a concert tonight. But we get to go to Germany first. Right, right, right. That's it, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Germany, obviously. The last concert, which was Lurgan Costa, which was actually quite a quite a journey for us. All of us have got second wind because we just had such a good time. So. It was all right. We turned up at Logan Cluster, which is a Christian school. They were just so welcoming. I think it was about 300 maybe, 300 youth, about 100 adults. So again, it wasn't like massive, but it was still an opportunity for them to experience some fresh praise and worship.
so um, yeah so keep posted right now I'm working on the next album the second album so hopefully that should be finished um, end of May beginning of June hopefully with a single and a video too so watch this space we're, we're on it so enjoy God bless thank you